Hey guys, welcome to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. Today we're going to do some trail riding, get the horses some exercise. Also, we're going to talk about our horses and I'm going to roll that over to Kelly right now and she's going to explain how she got her horses and uh, what we use them for. And if you guys are familiar with the channel, um, you see our horses a lot. So we felt that it would be good to give you guys a description. Hey guys, I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of the horses that we have and that we use. You guys get a lot of visual and imaging from the back of the horses, but I figured today we could talk about the actual animals themselves. We have three horses. We have Tara, Melody, and Biscuit. Tara here is the horse I've had the longest. She's also my youngest horse. I purchased her um, from a video I saw online, um, she was at a kill pin in Pitkin, Louisiana. I drove down there on the weekend of 4th of July in 2015 and picked her up and she was, she was absolutely emaciated. It was awful. When I got her home, she collapsed and I thought I was going to lose her. I spent some time with her and stuff and I thought, you know, this is, she's going to, I'm going to come back out in the morning and she'll be gone. And I came back out in the morning and she was standing upright and eating. So um, I was really lucky that she made that. Um, that trip was really, really hard on her. And, but she's done nothing but grown stronger and smarter ever since. Um, so having never met Tara before I purchased her, I was really lucky because she was sold to me as um, a 15 to 17 year old horse. And when I had her aged by her teeth, um, the, do the doctor said that she was probably six to seven years old. So that was a huge score for us. Um, and it turns out she's incredibly broke. Anyone can ride her. She's a really good horse and Clayton really likes to ride her probably the most. She's very smooth, very naturally gated. Um, these are gated horses. They're Tennessee walkers. Um, so they, there's no trotting and some of you might know the trot can be really bouncy. Um, these horses don't trot. They, they do a running walk and it's um, a very comfortable gait that you can go up to 15 to 20 miles per hour um, on these guys and it's very enjoyable, very smooth, um, but they're good horses. So anyway, so this is Tara. She's the one I've had the longest. She's definitely a good horse. So next we have Melody, and I purchased Melody two months later from the same kill pen. So I drove back down to Louisiana and got her. And she um, was nine years old when I purchased her. And um, I saw a video and she's she does a little more of a rack and not so much a running walk. She's a spotted saddle horse. So it's a gated breed, but it's not a walking horse. So um, anyways, I picked her up and she was super, super pretty and in, still in good condition. Um, and sometimes you wonder to yourself, why do these horses end up at these kill pens? Why, um, why are they there? Um, and when I got her home, I discovered that she was a striker, which can be a very dangerous trait um, that some horses have. It's a bad habit. Um, so with a lot of patience and a lot of time, we got her through that situation. And um, she's a lot more trusting and um, I'm really glad we put the time into her. This is the horse that I ride the most. She's very athletic. She's fast. Um, she's intelligent and she's super sure-footed. I put her through a lot 
and she takes good care of me. Tara. Um, she takes good care of me, and I adore this horse. We have we have quite the love-hate relationship. She can be quite witchy, but um, I wouldn't have another horse. If, if I had a choice, I, I'd still choose her. Um, she's just a, a really cool horse. So that is Melody. So um, this is the last horse. This is Biscuit, and he's our oldest horse. Um, he's about 22 years old, so um, he's been doing field trials his whole life. And what I didn't say about the other two is when I purchased them, they had never done field trials. They had never been run in a gallery with dogs and gunfire and everything. So that was a really big um, test for, of them. And Tara did a really good job and came around quickly. And Melody was a natural at everything, except to this day, every time the gun fires, she still jumps a bit. And it's, it's funny to us at this point, um, we say, yep, once again, we're still at a field trial with Melody. Like, you know, it's the same scenario every time the handler gets off, they flush a bird and then they fire the gun. And every time she acts like she didn't expect it to happen. So um, that's kind of our joke. But Biscuit has been in field trials his whole life. Well, almost his whole life. So um, sorry, they're really muddy because it rained a lot. And um, so, and they're shedding out. Anyways, um, I got Biscuit from a field trialer who purchased him and then decided that they didn't have enough time to compete like they wanted to. So, um, so I ended up taking Biscuit off his hands and, um, he is a really cool horse. Um, he's still really strong for 22, you know, that's kind of starting to look at retirement age, but he has a lot of gusto and a lot of go and he really enjoys going. So, um, we'll let him do this as long as he continues to want to do this with us. Um, but he's, he's a great horse. Clayton really enjoys riding him quite a bit also. Um, I don't get to ride him or Tara as much because Clayton kind of works them when he's doing his scouting and stuff. So, um, but Biscuit is a good old boy. We really enjoy him. And, um, in the summer he gets really pretty when he gets kind of bleached, sun bleached out and he has some cool characteristics that make him look very unique. So anyways, thank you for, um, meeting my horses. Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed that a little update on our horses. The b &W trailer hitch is working really well. Uh, no issues. We ended up greasing up the pins. Uh, they slide in and out a lot easier now. Towing is not an issue with that hitch. So it works really well. The Ram, this is kind of the first towing test that we did with it. It is working very well. And, um, we're towing about 10,000 pounds bumper pull and, uh, no issues. Uh, the power's there. It works great. Um, you do notice that, you know, you're towing a trailer, but it's night and day difference between our gasoline engines that we had. So, uh, very happy with how that tows. Um, in total, the truck weighs about 7,500 pounds. Trailer weighs about 10,000 pounds. And so your gross vehicle weight is, uh, 17.5 with horses loaded in there. Let's get started. Let's roll over and, um, Let's uh, get, get these horses some exercise and go hit the trails. Let's go. We got our horses all saddled up and we actually packed a sack lunch. So we'll find a place to eat out there. Um, there's going to be a lot of cliffs and stuff that we're going to be going down and up. So uh, it should be some pretty good trails. Hopefully, uh, these horses are in pretty good shape to handle them. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs>
Ooh, is it a big scary sil cylinder? Oh my goodness, how scary. There's two options, but what? Yeah, no. Let's go blue. Blue, just nice and slow. Nope. Do I look sure about it? Yep. It's better here. I'm gonna wait for you so she doesn't rush. Whoa. Whoa. Let her decide where she's going, but keep a firm grip on those reins. Whoa. Quit. Nice and easy. There you go. Okay.
see, here we are, the creek crossing. Maybe he wants water. Oh my God, you've never crossed water before. How are we gonna survive? How are we gonna survive? Can you do it? Don't be an idiot. I know he's good boy. Just wait right there. I wanted to film you coming through it. Oh. Whoa. He, he's gonna go off the side there. You want to water him? Well guys, we're done riding. Um, that trail was actually pretty hard. Uh, a lot of rocks, a lot of steep drop offs, and uh, a lot of mud, which made it uh, very difficult. But uh, we powered through it, and uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, as you saw, we uh, cleaned all the horses off, and, and uh, now we're gonna enjoy our lunch. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep riding your horse. I'll catch you guys on the next one.